So my kids have always liked bed knobs and broomsticks, the movie. And it's a, an old movie now, but it was something I had when I was a kid and I used to love it as well. So they've got this love of bed knobs and broomsticks apparently from their father. So what my youngest one said to me the other day was he was talking about getting a, a sword and a shield. So I decided that I would work on making him a, a little shield. So he's only a little tacker, he's four years old. So it's got to be pretty light. And this stuff is Maranti, which is, I mean, it's not balsa wood, but it's not far off it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him a little wooden shield out of this stuff. So I'll make that and I'll reinforce it with those. And I'll end up cutting it into like a buckler, a circle shape. And maybe I'll paint it so it looks like Captain America or something. Maybe I'll paint it gray so it looks like a, an actual medieval shield I don't really know yet but we'll find out when we get that far so apparently I forgot to hit record but all I've done is glued the boards together and then proceeded to join them through there I'll probably run at least another one into there because I've missed the center standing at a weird angle instead of looking at this way I should have put that one about here but that's okay I can do that now hold itself nicely. So I'm planning on making this maybe a little bit bigger this side like that so that you can hold it. I might cut through there but I'll see whether I pull that screw out or not. I don't know. We'll see as we go along. This is a seat of the pants project. So I'll leave that to dry. Okay, so. Alright, so I've marked out a circle by going to the middle, checking points, and doing a round. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's for a four year old. So I'll cut that. The size. So that will be his shield. So now I'm just going to clean up. I've got a little round over bit that I use. So I'm going to clean up these and the other side of that, make it look a little bit nicer.
Mm. I'll leave that dry overnight. Pick it up later. Got a couple of things here today from the hardware store. Alright, this is going to go about here and it's going to give him a handle to hold on to. So I can put that one in. So that'll give him something he can hold on to. And these, just a couple of brackets. I think they're called a draw lock or something like that. I don't know. But um, I'm going to mount these there and there after I flatten them a little bit. And I'm going to put a strap of leather across here to give him something to put his arm arm through so I'll put that in there so I have to flatten these out a little bit first I'll strap down like that so that it'll get a nice grip with a bit of pressure from that so it won't slip around and I'll put it up He'll be able to fit his arm in and play with it like a real shield. So just trim that flat. I've delayed posting this video for nearly two months, maybe a bit longer, because I wanted to see just how well this design would hold up to the abuses of a, a child. And it's held up really well. There's no signs of cracking along the join, and it's held up perfectly. There's no, no looseness in the the strap or in the handle. It does have a lot of dents in it from where it's been used to hit things. It's been used to knock things. It's been used as a ladder. It's been used to stand on, to jump on and generally been absolutely mistreated by my child. So it'll hold up to most of what a small child can give it. Uh, he has been having mock fights with his brother. I also made his brother one. 
So I think I'm going to have to make a sword for him. It's going to be a wooden sword, but it's definitely going to be foam coated. So I know he's going to hit his brother with that one. So definitely foam coat the sword. Like it if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, but most importantly, have fun making things.